Today we're making a charcuterie board. It's a vegan cheese board. And this is what I'm going to be taking to my vegan parties this holiday season. Join me. I'm Nora Day. So today this is really exciting for me because this is how I eat. I love to eat little bits of really good things that are good and yummy in my tummy. So I'm really excited to make this for you guys. And this is really what I am taking to holiday parties this year. I find when I go to holiday parties, there's a lot I cannot eat because of course people like to do some traditional holiday dishes that are not vegan. So this is my contribution when I go to a party and everybody loves it because it's different, it's unique, and it's really, really good. So let me show you what I have in my vegan cheese board. I'm gonna start at the top here. I have lots of stuff to put in. I have, of course have a couple of the fruits. I have some of the grapes and I have these beautiful little pears. These are called shekel pears. And as you can see, they're very tiny they're also called candy pears because they're super sweet. These are beautiful and they're also very, have a little hint of spice and that's what makes them very holiday, holiday friendly you might say. And also I have my dried figs. I love dried figs, always love it. I have my dried apricots. So I wanna tell you a little something about dried apricots. So as you see, these dried apricots are not super, super orange because there is no sulfur dioxide in them. So when you have that chemical in there to preserve them and make them look pretty orange, it's really toxic. So if you can remember when you go to the store, buy organic apricots and they have nothing else in them but apricots. They're much better for you and they're actually a little sweeter, I think, too. This is my holiday treat. These are sour dark cherries. It tastes like a cherry. They're a little sour, a little tart, and they add so much with the cheese. It's really a nice addition. I love these a lot. And then I move on to some of my sprouts. Of course, these are some sprouted beans. You can see I have some mung beans in here. I have some garbanzo beans in here. This is a really nice, unique addition again that you're not gonna see on many vegan cheese platters, but I really like it. Another one, of course, are the microgreens. The microgreens are intense, intense, intense greens. Did I say intense enough? <laughs> These are super powerful. These give you so much energy. The microgreens, as you can see, are micro, they're tiny, very, very strong, potent. Along with those, I have my sunflower sprouts, which are also really potent. I eat these every day. Sunflower sprouts, also give you lots of energy. And as you can see, they are gonna look really pretty on the platter as well. They have these nice long stems, the pretty sprout, love these too. And I'm gonna start getting to some of my vegetables. So I have radishes. I like my just big red radishes. Again, you may not always see this on a, on a cheese platter, but I like to add that. And as I move on, I move on to, of course, celery. Most people see celery, so we're gonna add that for everybody. Most people have carrots, we're gonna add that for everybody. So you have kind of the basics. I have some organic bell peppers, different colors, makes nice presentation with some bright, happy colors. I'm gonna add some sliced cucumber as well because I do use these things for dipping. As we get along to the dipping, you're gonna see that it's very easy to dip some bell pepper, dip some cucumber in the dips, so you're not always having something that's heavy like bread. So we're keeping it light and healthy on our beautiful cheese platter for you. Some of the other things I'd like to add, just kind of add in, I have some macadamia nuts. Remember, this is holidays, so this is the time to get some things you don't usually get. Macadamia nuts are very, very good for you. They're also very high in fat, but the good fat. Macadamia nuts are really at the top of the list for some of the best nuts you could do for the good fat in your system. So this is a really great part of my tray. And I also have some raw almonds, which I like too. The raw almonds actually are nice for people that don't want any salt. They're organic, there's no salt, which is a really nice thing. So again, all these are kind of 
mingling together with the flavors. Of course, we have cheese on our wonderful vegan cheese platter. I chose two cheeses. This cheese is a cheese dip. It's a blended cheese, so you can make it in the blender. And it's called cashews because it's made with cashew cheese. It's really good. And the good part of this is there is no dairy, there's no sugar, and it's really a cashewy kind of taste, but it is very cheesy. So the other one I want to show you is really unique as well. This cheese is like you might see a block of cheese, but it's made of coconut. So the main base of this cheese is coconut. And as you can see, it has pretty herbs on the top and it really tastes like you're having the texture of a dairy cheese. But again, there's no dairy, there's no sugar, there's no oil, and there's no salt in this cheese. I just want to bring it to your attention because you really can find these things in the store. Now these things are more readily available. So again, since this is holiday, go outside of your box and get some of these unique items. So I want to start adding into my beautiful platter for you guys. So the way I like to start is I like to put my cheeses on the opposite ends of the platter. So let's move our platter over here. So I like to put one cheese at one side and I like to put the other cheese on the other side. So this one we're going to take off the plate. We're going to put it right on the platter. So some of the other things as you are thinking about it, we have our crackers. The crackers, of course, you can see our flaxseed. I have some flaxseed, lots of flaxseed crackers are good for you. I have some other types of crackers here that are raw and they have some carrots in them. These were raw dehydrated crackers. So I'm gonna place them around my cheese. I'm using the opposite ends because we're gonna fill the inside with all the other good stuff. I'm gonna put some of my flax crackers on the other sides. So really all you need for this is a nice big platter. You need to go shopping for some of your unique items that you don't get every day of the year because again, if you're taking this to a party, you want to impress some people with your beautiful platter, this is the platter to do it. So I'm gonna keep going and bringing from the edge to the inside. I think that's the easiest way to do it to make your platter. So I'm gonna start adding some of my sprouts, some of those energy boosting sprouts. I'm going to add some of those around the edges too. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You guys know me by now. Nothing has to be super perfect. It almost looks more natural, more organic if it's not super perfect. Oh, you know, you can smell these babies too. These smell really, really strong and potent in a good way. I'm going to add a few of those on the edges. Some of my other sprouts, remember these have the mung beans, garbanzo beans. Oh, these are beautiful. Some lentils in here, I see some spreaded lentils. You know, some of this is just for the beauty of it. So I'm gonna sprinkle a few on my microgreens. Oh, look at that, that's nice. That's gonna be a nice power hit if somebody is wise enough to choose that as their choice. So how about if we put some dried fruit now? I think that would be nice, like my apricots, my clean apricots. Can even put some in the back here for a pretty presentation again. Oh, that's nice, I like that. That was a good choice, put them around the very edges. You don't wanna waste space on this beautiful platter. You want plenty of room, because you're gonna really pile up some good stuff on your platter here. Some of my cherries, some of my tart cherries. I want some of those. Kind of making a border. I'm making a border for my platter right now. Oh, these dark cherries are great. Like I said, they're a little tart, but that's what makes them a little special with everything else on the tray. Okay, I'm going for the figs now. Whew, I have traveled to Greece, and I have to tell you, when I was in Greece, the figs were amazing. <laughs> there was a little old man outside of the place where I was staying and he was always out front with his little bag of figs. And let me tell you, I bought his figs every day because they were unbelievable. So if you go to Greece, get some figs. <laughs>
I want to continue with my beautiful dried fruit. There's two more I didn't tell you about. I'm using goji berries for the beautiful red color that's very holiday, bright, happy. And I also have some dried mulberries. Mulberries are super sweet, but they have a funny little look to them, which I really like on this, on my board here. Look at these babies. Ah. So some of you have maybe seen mulberries that aren't dried. These are dried mulberries. So I'm staying again, outlining with my dried mulberries. And as you see, it's a very earthy looking plate, which is really nice. It's a nice change of pace. Think of some of the cheese plates you've seen before when you go to parties. This one looks quite different. And now the goji berries. Oh, look at that. See, that adds a whole, a whole look to the whole platter already. I like that very much. I'm still really getting every corner, every inch in. I'm going to fill in the ends. So when people come and eat off of this beautiful plate, they can just kind of grab whatever. They're kind of just in here, which actually is very nice community too. Everybody's just talking and talking about the different ingredients. It's a really nice conversation piece as well, which is kind of fun. Staying with my fruits. So I have my shekel pears, my little sweets. I'm just gonna put them on here because again, it's kind of a rustic earthy look. You just kind of place them in here. Oh, that's a nice one. I'm gonna put one on this end over here. I love these. Once you start having these, you're gonna wonder why you have any of the other pears. These are fantastic. And I have a really nice long line of my grapes. Look at this. Whoa, isn't this great? <laughs> it's like it was made for this. So we're gonna circle it around. Again, it's not perfect. I wanna circle this around, make it pretty. So you see, I'm, I, I'm losing some space here, so I'm trying to get everything to the ends always, always pressing stuff to the ends. Oh, I like that. That's really nice, okay. So it, I have to, again, be aware that I'm putting a lot into my, into my platter here, so I do wanna make room. So I want all this goodness in there, but I have to keep making space, keep making room for everything. I think I'm gonna start cutting some of my veggies. Let's put some of the veggies on the tray now, okay? I have a cucumber. I like to cut off the ends, of course. After I cut off the ends, I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna take some stripes for the skin. So I just slice it and I can make some stripes. So part of the skin is on, part of the skin is off. It's a little more festive, like this. This cucumber, you can see, has lots of seeds in it. I do keep the seeds in the cucumber. I always keep the seeds in the cucumber. I know some people take the seeds out, but I like to keep them in, because as you see, when you open it up, look how pretty it looks. So we're gonna do little slices of this, because again, we're using this as dip in the cheese. So instead of, again, the heavy bread, I want some thick chunks of cucumber. Okay, let's put those, again, around the edges so everybody can just take as they go some cucumber slices. Ooh. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, this cucumber smells so fresh. This adds a nice little smell and scent to your cheese platter. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that. I like that with the stripes. So we're adding a few of those. I'm going to just add in a few carrots as well. People love these carrots. Just making pretty colors. <laughs> this is very nice. I like this very much. Make sure we get this end over here. Oh, this is beautiful orange. It's brilliant with all of the rustic kind of colors in here. Look at the orange popping. Isn't that nice? Let's add one more. Little good luck carrot there. All right. Going to add some of these beautiful bell peppers. These are organic bell peppers. So you can cut down one of the sides. 
So these seeds I do take out. I do not use the seeds from the bell pepper. So you just get in there, take these seeds out. Woo, you can smell these. So we're gonna do strips. We're gonna do strips of these because again, this acts as my dip. So let's get another little end of the orange. So if I could give any advice to some of you out there about this cheese platter is, I'm using these crackers that we did earlier because they're light and they're a nice combination with the cheese. I'm also using more vegetables for dips than crackers. With all these vegetables on the plate as dips, it's a great way to increase your vegetable intake. So that's why I have more vegetables than crackers. I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> Woo, this red one is very brilliant. I got lucky I didn't have seeds on this one. So again, let's put some red. Oh, look at those babies. Wow, this is looking very pretty. The only real rule I use on this is I push everything to the outside edges to keep filling in the middle. But other than that, use your creative eye and you put the colors where you like them. Everybody likes that familiar celery for dipping, so we're gonna do a little bit of celery. Doing a little bit smaller on these. Get a little celery in there. We're closing in on this tray. <laughs> ah. So it's up to you how you're transporting this. <laughs> you better have a good driver if you're driving. <laughs> Ooh. Loving that. Again, I do love my macadamia nuts, so I'm gonna put a few macadamia nuts in here. Right in that center point. Oh, these are my favorite. My favorite is macadamia nuts, definitely. Put a few of my almonds in the center. Yep. And now we're gonna do a little final touch. This is, this is a really good thing to do too. The final touch, we put a few herbs around the top. So, I have my sunflower sprouts. I'm just gonna throw some sprouts around here. Mm-hmm. These are so good for you. This is one of my favorite sprouts, is actually the sunflower sprouts. I have these almost every day. Uh, I want my, this is lemon thyme. I got this special for this tray today because it's a little lemony. Ooh, you can even smell it. So we put little herbs around. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use all this lemon thyme. I like that, a little bit on the edge. Very pretty. Last but not least, we have edible flowers. So the edible flowers you can find in some specialty grocery stores and sometimes some markets, farmer's markets, they have edible flowers too. And again, these are just a pretty addition to your platter. And another great thing about this platter is as people come and eat off the platter, you kind of unveil some of these goodies underneath. So don't worry if some things are being covered because as people start eating, you're going to see all the goodness underneath. You can put a little flour in your dip. <laughs> and look at that. We just made a nutritious, unique, charcuterie platter for your holidays. I hope you guys make this and take this to your holiday parties. It's so unique and sweet, you're really gonna enjoy it. And so will all of your friends.